because he could sense that Hammer was fighting his way back into this match. Switching down for the cover shot that here, Travel 19 works for him, but yeah, that was a big moment in the game, John. Yeah, well, Anna's of outrageous fortune we use from time to time, and I think Andy Hamilton, in all fairness, can uh, say he was unlucky there. 100. Two treble 20s right on the wire of double 13, and he walked away surely knowing that he was never going to come back again, because that's the mood Taylor's in tonight. 100. Well, he stayed up the board that time, and Phil not hitting the treble with the first start with any great regularity at the moment, but he's doing his job, he's doing enough. Now, that's a nice start from the Hammer. Can he get his fourth? 180. 140. It just brushed south, didn't it? It was not a bad dad at all. Tom 40 for Hamilton. Taylor. Oh, that's a super dart. You know that Taylor, when he gets one in line, he's going to put at least another alongside. And that's why he's so annoyed, Nigel. He knows that he would normally put another one alongside it. He's annoyed, Taylor. He's a perfectionist. He knows it's not a perfect display. 100. And looking for a big score here, because Hamilton is in this leg. That's a great start, isn't it? That's the second time he's hit a 177. As good as a maximum, but certainly in those circumstances when it leaves him on a double. Treble 17 for the ball. This would have set this place alight had he hit it. But again, Taylor will be ruthless for sure for the set. Yes, no missing when, when the power is on the double tonight. Three, six to nil. And uh, there you see the reaction. He really means business, Phil. Taylor tonight, he has an average of 98.26. I've seen him score better than this, but his finishing 60% is more than satisfactory. 59. And I've been joined by Rod Studd, who's been keeping one eye on this match outside. Rod, uh, 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 misfortune for Hamilton, but he's, uh, well, he's only himself to blame, frankly. Yeah, it was all those missed darts that double at the start, wasn't it, John, as you pointed out in the first uh, couple of sets. There were four legs where Hamilton was first to the double. Missed chances, and Taylor, as we've seen him so often in the past, just gobbled the opportunities up, didn't he? And for all that we recognise Hamilton's quality as a fighter, it's going to be very difficult for him to come back from three sets to nil. And there's a certain look on Taylor's face. I think Taylor, and I think he'll confirm this later, is not happy with some of the antics 42. in the crowd. He has come to entertain them to... And I think he, quite rightly, might expect better order from certain sections. I have to say, only certain sections. If looks could kill. 140. Well, it didn't affect that visit to the ball, that's for sure. But he was giving someone an old-fashioned look in the crowd, wasn't he? Yes, you're right. And, and in a sense, he's playing two men. He's, play, he's trying to concentrate all that much more. 57. More than just Andy Hamilton to think of, but he's a thought a pro, as indeed they all are. There's a lovely line. The way that dart is in the board, again, you would expect at least another one to join in. This occasion, he switches across to 18s. 70 left after just 12 hours. Once this match over with, does the power run? Yep, absolutely. He's been saying he's not too keen on the late finishes. 100. Well, he could be tucked 70. up in bed under his duvet by about half past ten tonight. Phil Taylor, the rate he's going. 20. And leaves double 16 for yet another leg. Tenth leg win of the match. It is the first leg 
of the fourth set. Do you know, John, he's only lost eight legs in this tournament in total now in the thick end of four matches, and apparently he's playing rubbish. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think it says more about his opponents than him. Uh, and I think he, in fairness, would acknowledge that because uh, we, we know that he hasn't played as well as we know he can. But uh, it's still a fantastic record, Rob. Old adage, though, John, isn't it? Only beat what's put in front of you. Yep, you know, and he's demolishing everything in his path. But I don't think he'll demolish Barney. Never a truer word was spoken. Our old mate, never far from our thoughts. 58. I was interviewed for the tribute programme, Sid, and uh, uh, Rod, and I never got a word in. I was a bit disappointed about that, but there we are. It's another matter as uh, Hamilton looks to put something into this match. I thought he had a chance in the last set when he won that first leg. He got the third 180 of the match for him. Uh, but wasn't able to build on it as the power hit back as he is now brilliantly. Wow! That is the kind of 180 you like to see. As that old mate Sid would have said, perfect stacking there. And that certainly was. Well, that is exactly what Taylor did when Taylor was romping through tournament 59. after tournament. And his average has now gone into three 43. figures with 101 and bits. 43. Choice of double is double 16. He hits it again. Well, quite Phil frankly, Taylor. John, it's sheer slaughter. The uh, time was Burnley. that we saw Phil Taylor in big games wipe the floor with opponent after opponent. You often thought he might come out with a mop as well as three darts. This is a this is a darting massacre, isn't it? Yeah, it's equivalent of a great football team playing against a lousy defence. Hamilton should have been in this match early doors, but now we're beginning to see an exhibition from a man who quite rightly has a smile on his face. The semi-final is not yet there for Taylor, but he can certainly sense that he's well and truly on his way. Well, is he going to lay down? The marker of markers with a nine, no he's not, but that was only just deflected over the top. And had it gone in, he'd have been snipping around for 144. Tell you what, he's hardly missed that treble 19 when he's gone for it down. Hardly missed, he's had two 177s. The number of times he's picked it off as well on other occasions. 140. Well, there's a lot of discussion going on, John, I can tell you backstage amongst pundits and odds compilers and how they'll price up this Taylor Van Barnabas semi-final and surely it will be and Taylor will be favourite but it might only be fractional such has been Barnabas' performances this week but Taylor has answered a few questions here he's, he's not just annihilating Hamilton he's annihilating the scoreboard as well because the average 82. is going up towards 104 now. Yeah. at one stage early doors he was averaging 88 and I said then with confidence that he would lift that average up. 103 now, as he's looking at double eight. Well, a rare, rare miss. And Hamilton, who so nearly took out 146 not so long ago, has 142. He won't be taking it out. 90. So two eights then for Very the power for another set. Four. Double two. Yes, In he goes, and Phil Taylor, Taylor wins Phil the fourth Taylor. set. He has won 12 out of 13 legs in this match. He is taking Andy Hamilton apart on the big stage and is marching inexorably towards a semi-final darting date with his old rival, Raymond Van Barneveld. Taylor 4-0.